All right, so I made a video about Pikami. Twitter was going after her because she wanted to play Hogwarts. I think those guys are a bunch of losers. And uh, I hear she's leaving. I'm not too sure, but uh, It's a Gundam made this video, and I'm going to check it out. Shout out, It's a Gundam. But I don't know how to describe it. So it doesn't feel like it's a job, though. So I'm not sure I'm going to call this a job. But Oh, she's it's not fun. working on Twitch? Wait. She's not, she's not like a, a corporate, a corporate, uh, psh, what's it called? Um, YouTuber. She's just like doing it on her own. That's crazy. I thought most YouTubers had like a company behind them. The most famous one, sorry. No, most YouTubers. Man, what is this shit? YouTuber Pokemon, Pokey, Pokemane, Pokemi, Pikami retires. Otaku! Gaming journalism another day, is trash. Another bad Kotaku take. Sometimes I wonder how in the name of God this site and others like it continue to exist, blind in the face of so all logic content. it seems. They make so much Build content. a gaming site. Hate gamers. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes! Gamers are bigots. Gaming is ableist. And Elden Ring needs an easy mode. Gamers are sexist! Easy mode? J.K. Oh, Rawlings like is a turf! That's Ooh. like making a fast food joint, and then you hate and insult the obese customers that keep your business afloat. <laughs> Papa's chicken sandwich. Papa's chicken sandwich. <laughs> no! No! See how it doesn't make sense? Not a shred of it. But somehow, Kotaku does this. Yet Gaming journalism. So what does this got to do with Pika Me? If you don't like it, don't watch it. Peace. And G4 nosedive faster than Adam Sessler in a pile full of booger sugar. Outside the Dolby Theater. Yo, it, okay. it's, it's fairly warm out here. It is fairly warm, but despite the heat, fans have been lining up for hours to get their place. <laughs> Bethesda E3 showcase. Bro, what the fuck? And of course. <laughs> It baffles me, really. Pika Me has just announced is. she's leaving VTubing, or as I oh. say in Japan, graduating. After the graduating. Hogwarts drama, I touched briefly on her being harassed in my first video. Uh -huh. But I didn't think she was going to quit over it. She went yeah. radio silent for around three weeks until the announcement was recently made. By the way, Kotaku isn't biased at all in the story. Pay no attention to the last article. 15 hours of Hogwarts Legacy. Bro, don't care. However... Pikami's most militant fans seem to take issue with the callouts. All the same. Okay, all right. So, the Twitter activists, many of them that seem well, uh, can I say psychotic still, or is that also losers. a no-no no, no, no word. just call them losers. Just call them losers. That's crazy. They weren't militant. Literally. Wait, you do deserve your death threats. You do deserve your suffering. You do deserve your abuse for playing this game. Congratulations. You've survived a fraction of a percent of what trans folks go through on a daily basis. You want a gold star, some shit like that. Bro, what is this person talking about? They're absolutely insane. Nobody deserves death threats for playing a video game. You gotta be an absolute insane person to think that. And what what is like like Trans people get hate, gay people get hate, black people get hate, everybody gets hate all the time. White people get hated on all the time nowadays. So I, what are you, what is this bullshit? What, like everybody gets hated on online. That is online. Everybody gets hate. I don't get this. Take. These people this didn't just kick the beehive. They also took a hot steaming piss on it. Stu, pull out the tweets. Bullying is justified if the person is transphobic. This shouldn't be so hard to understand. Bullying is justified if the person is transphobic. Um, I don't. One, I don't think Pika me is trans. Pika me is transphobic at all. But saying bullying justifies, you know, your reason because somebody, you know, does something bad. Transphobia it means they're scared of trans people. It doesn't mean they hate them. It means they're just scared. That's what phobic means, right? You're scared of them. It doesn't mean you hate them. If you're scared of trans people. Why does that give you the right to bully someone? If somebody's scared of black people, what gives you the right to bully them? Because they're scared? If you want them to not be scared, how about actually try and have a conversation with them? 
talk to them like a normal person. Maybe they'll switch to your side. Like you're absolutely insane if you think bullying somebody will help them see your cause or is the cause. Let's just go ahead and get rid of every everybody that doesn't agree with us. Because I know a, I know a couple countries in the past that used to do the same shit. Yeah. The just definition saying. of transphobic gets looser every day. Your mom's gets looser every day. Wow. Transphobic piece of shit. Wow. You join pick me soon. Losers freaking out because their parasocial relationship with some fat ace and bitch is gone. Ha 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 ha. Oh, Robin. He's just a troll. You may be in trouble, little dude. Congrats on graduating, pick -a me Congrats on losing your job is such a wild thing to say. Also, trans rights, I guess. I mean, she quit on her own. You know what's so, you know what's so crazy about this? This has nothing to do with, with like trans people, like as their movement in general. Like, sure, you cool. You scared off a VTuber. Congratulations. How does that help anything? There's still trans people in downtown Dallas getting stabbed and killed. Like, what is this Twitter activism? It doesn't do anything for the actual cause. You guys are absolutely insane. Terms. Absolutely she was bullied insane. away by people claiming to be trans allies. Claiming? No, this is what you children do when you don't get your way. Facts. Man, I love fake positivity. You don't support her? It's obvious. This is a fucking three lap for you. Man, I don't care. Trans rights. Please stop co-opting interests Bro. that affect real people <laughs> to spread toxic behavior <laughs> like your fake positivity. Fake positivity? Our rights are being taken away by the minute. Who? If you think we did- Who is taking your rights away? Deserve it? The government is definitely taking away women's rights. Uh, like We all saw that happen on, on national TV. What are you going to do about it besides complain on the internet? That's what I want to know. If you guys really want to make change, go and make change. But it's easier to just sit on the computer and do it all day. Because your sure. favorite VTuber quick, out there that's you problem. The allegations slash claims that Ali Archer lied about everything and made the trans cousin up. Even those who previously blamed Silvervale for the death of now backtrack. So no you're telling me people is. faked a trans person? <laughs> To go after Silver Veil? This is yes. just getting... Yes, people will do that. Yes, that internet historian video about that guy that died in the cave, or he was trapped in the cave, and then everybody was spreading around. Oh, he's not really in the cave. It's not real. They made it up for money. And then, like, the government was like, is that true? And they're like, no, he's really in there. And they're like, oh, okay. Like, this shit's oh real. Oh, my God. It doesn't even surprise me. Why? <laughs> you little piece of dribble piss. People <laughs> are deliberately spreading misinformation? To try and gain sh on Silver Bell. That's a shame. And it's just, it's just not, it's, it's just, it's just. If you're gonna, if you're gonna attack somebody and go after somebody, make sure it's for a legitimate reason and not for, oh, I heard so-and-so said this and you don't dig any deeper. There's literally no debate. Like you people are actually, Crazy. you people are actually Crazy. just being malicious pieces of sh oh, yeah, I'm just a kettle it. who wants to play it. this game. Partially Playing this game doesn't mean I'm supporting something specific. I just want to play the game. That's all. I hope everyone will have a wonderful day. She should have just not played it at all, stupid bitch. That shows you just how stupid this person is. Oh, man. Pick, Pick me didn't even Bro. play the game. She was she harassed before the stream <laughs> even happened. I'm sorry, I shouldn't Pick laugh at that, so but that's sweet. like, yeah, that's like the ultimate. Yeah, you shouldn't have played the game. That's why they're going after you. It's like, no, she didn't play the game at all. It's like, oh, well, who cares? Like, dude, don't even. Okay. This person is toxic Reason, and vile. Yeah, they're just trolls. really excited just for the trolls, wave bro. of mealy mouth. Woe is me apologies that this game will inspire and VTubers who know what engaging with it represents and yet will go right ahead and play it anyway. This flu Fuck version of is awesome. Pick me is Pick not a me. small uwu kettle bean. She is a woman with a platform and access to the internet. The public has known for three years now that J.K. Rawlings uses her bigoted money to fund vile assaults on human rights, whether she wants to or not. By supporting the game, she supports bigotry. <sighs> Bro, even if that was true, what you're doing is not helping. You're on Twitter. Elon Musk bought Twitter. He's fired a he's fired a whole bunch of people that didn't deserve to be fired. You're not going to their rescue. Oh, it's because they're not trans. Some of them might have been. Like, you get your gas from Shell. Shell Shell has done a lot of evil shit, and people still go to that gas station even if they knew what it was. 
it, they'd be like, oh, well, the gas is cheaper here, so I'm going to go here. Like, eh, it's some bullshit, bro. These a lot of shit that you enjoy in life has come off of the back of other people. Blood as well. People who have died for the luxuries that you enjoy every single day. Me too. Me too. 100%. Everybody. All of us. All of us. There's just bad shit everywhere. And if you find out about it, you're probably still going to use it. Because a lot of people will not give up their luxuries to live a harsher life to prove some type of point to the man. Because people really don't care. They really don't. They say they care until it's time to actually do something or die, die about it. And then they're like, oh, no, I don't want to do it. Twitter trend. No, Pick I didn't really need it. Anyway. Nice argument, Senator. Pick Why don't you back up source? Yeah, for my source is that I made it the f*** up. This right, is nice. like drawing a trans person <laughs> Quack. Sal, you legitimately a horrible person and should feel bad for making this? What? Pick me being drawn making as a wizard? Art what? A wizard I love reading angry comments under the Pick me YouTube we're quitting. Like, what are you gonna do? Cry? It's so good seeing conservatives see. Strange they don't hold the power in media they think they do. No one appeals to them, and they make no content. They only bitch about others. Okay. I consider this a win. Thank you for graduating her. Also, keep a tighter leash on your fanboy orbiters. They seem to be attacking other communities as well. Thanks. You're Didn't you guys attack her? If you attack her, what do you think is going to happen? You think the fan base is just going to sit there and be like, yeah, it's okay. Like, even if I don't agree with somebody, if they have a fan base and I don't agree, and it, even though I might be right, the fan base is still going to ride or die for their favorite creator. Like, come on, man. You're getting bullied for playing a dumb wizard game? Getting abused by your chat? Gonna cry? Damn, now you know a fraction of what trans folks feel. You know, right. the ones and it's funny, a lot of the people talking about this shit probably aren't even trans, so they don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. They're just like, oh yeah, somebody else said trans people do this and that and that happens. Oh, well, I disagree. Money is like, supporting on, the abuse of? No, I won. I got her to graduate for being a transphobic sack. <laughs> now you people are exposed for who you really are and can be held accountable to. Accountable? How, how are they going to be accountable? They're random people on the internet just like you. What? They're going to get fired? Like... Pika me had a platform, these other people do not. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Even a fellow YouTuber, I believe her name is Kason, who talked with Pika me confirms what happened and why she graduated from being a VTuber. So she's just done, done. She's not even, you know. So she's done making content, that's actually sad. It's gotten to the point now where I'm a better journalist. I think it might be better if people just don't use Twitter. If you're famous, don't use Twitter. It might just be better that way, honestly. Journalist. Like Asmin Gold said, when he was canceled, he wasn't using Twitter. He didn't even know he was canceled. <laughs> And people who work at Kotaku. He didn't even know about it. literally looked at this and said, we find uh -huh. no correlation with her being bullied. Bro, it's everywhere. You literally have to find nothing by covering your eyes. <laughs> when you click pick me while it's trending. That's Absolute. Sad. Just no integrity. This really is no the darkest time. No accountability. No self-respect. Bad, bad. What, what uh, happened to Babish? There's cooking guy. I think it's called... Uh, Binging Something with Babish. Babish. Binging. Binging with Babish. Yes. He did a quick a spot channel. for Hogwarts. Literally, okay. the dude's so big, he don't even have to read his own ad spots. They're like, please, sir, may we play a clip of our video in your video? He's like, yeah, whatever, do whatever. Binging with Babish that was enough for content. people to go absolutely insane on Babish, who most likely Bro, doesn't know about the J.K. Game. Rowling's drama and probably he also doesn't cooking. care because he's living his life. He's a chef. The dude has a real life. When I woke up this morning, I didn't know it would be the last time I was watching Binging with Babish, but here we are. Who cares? I'm really disappointed, but I would who not cares? be wasting eyeballs on someone who takes money from fashion. Sounds like you're not gonna learn how to cook then. Oh well, go somewhere else. you obviously else. don't work because sometimes you got bills to pay. And on top of that, well, I Babish, I mean, Bab Bab Babish, that dude is established. That man has so many goddamn staff underneath him. Babish is like, online seeing what upsets people like you on Twitter. For God's sakes, grow up. He's a chef. The dude was baking in an ad plate like a commercial. <laughs> grow up. <laughs> yeah, well, guess I unfollowed Babish. No one oh, cares. No, I'm sure oh, it's really going to affect his care. millions oh, of no. dollars. 
What will oh, Babish no. do without you, <laughs> BR3, whatever your name is? Vex Werewolf. Unsubscribed from binging with Babish for taking Turth Wizard money. At least he was a gateway to J. Kenji Lopez alt who will never betray me. Give it time. Huh? I'm sure Lopez will do something wrong. Yeah, Last I checked, does if you wrong. speak Spanish, you're probably transphobic according to this article here. Ay, Dios mío. Well, if that's the case, if you, if you have a British accent, you're the, you're the devil because the British did a lot, and I mean a lot of messed up stuff back in the day. Dios. Why if did you decide to use that be. enormous platform to support such vile hate? Do you not have enough money as is? No, believe it or not. The fuck no, dude. The Corvettes. Why have one yacht when you can have five? Come on. Thing Ray Evo starts at a hundred grand. Bad bitch need a little extra sea <laughs> money. <laughs> wow. I just can't believe these people. Bro, that sponsorship probably <laughs> How was dare you, bad bitch? What a corrosion. You know, he probably doesn't five, even maybe edit maybe his six, videos. Maybe five. Five Literally, figures. he does his thing. Someone else edited the video. They took a sponsorship. The person edited it in, and you're throwing shoes yeah. at Babish. Yeah. I don't even know this dude, and I'm defending him. <laughs> Good for you, Babish. Get the bag, queen. Of course, none of this matters. Odds are to Babish. He probably got you 50k just to let the ad play on his cooking video. Exactly. He did a network television spot with Drew Barrymore he a week did? later. Congratulations, That a few bro. activists decide to jump in the comments on and complain as Nobody if their cares. opinion he didn't mattered. Read it. He didn't the read dude it. is out here living his best life and doing big things. He's rich. While you cope and seethe over a game you're literally going to Not forget about play. in a year. Yeah, Does I hear the game is mid as fuck anyway. Matter? In the I grand scheme? No. That's what a normal person would think. February 7th, 2023. Now, all this drama originally unfolded around February 7th. Month. It was clear that Pick and Me was taking heat Last she month. wasn't really used to. Hell, if you even look at the trending tweets, you can see examples of people being evil towards her over a stupid video game that they only hate because they want J.K. Rowling to have nothing. If J.K. Rowling not even, even gets an her. extra grain of rice in a meal she has, Twitter activists act as if it's a massive genocide. I am very sorry. I will cancel today's stream. See you guys in the next stream. That's a damn Deo. Thing. Even poor Kettle daughter, Pikami, is now deleting tweets and had to explain her activities. It's bad seeing Pikami be harassed. I hope she comes to cancel back. A stream. I mean, honestly, it's not that bad. Like, Pikami, it is not that bad. People told you that you're a terrible person, yada, yada, yada. You still have a fan base. Like, you're fine. You're honestly, it, this must be her first time getting any type of hate at all. Because this is honestly not that bad. Because this shit will blow over in, like, two more months, bro. Like, honestly, this this game was not even all that. It's not that but bad. But probably for the best. It'll when be these okay. are the kinds of children trying to defend her. It's absolutely messed up that Pikmin got would bullied you by Alphabet oh, Gang. Because they're still answered <laughs> about a game. Because of some woman's political views. Let people play what they want without being assholes. Yes. The people who are like, it's a video game, get over it. They're the children and the immature ones. The amount of people saying this <laughs> for over a year, maybe I shouldn't do anything I like. Ha ha. I am sorry for not posting something fun, but getting death threats. I keep getting blamed for members that left the group. Don't stream on Twitch except I've been depressed. I can't take it anymore. And I genuinely want to drop everything. This is why I haven't streamed much. It's so hard to wake up from the bed. From next few hours, I will stream Final Fantasy X. But I thought I would cry when the stream starts because I'm very emotional. So I needed to express my feelings. I will delete this later because I don't want to make anybody sad. But thanks for always supporting me. You guys are my everything. I am very sorry. And that is sad as shit. She said she's going to delete her explanation post because she doesn't want her fan base to be upset. Like, bro, this is absolutely crazy. Yeah, she seems like somebody that's just been, you know, not babied, but like she has not gotten hate, at least not like this. So she's just not used to it. I mean, it happens to every everybody. If you get some type of platform, people will hate you. It doesn't matter what you do. Binging with Babish, bro cooks food, bro. He cooks food. He doesn't even, he probably didn't even know about the sponsorship. He's probably like, oh, there's a sponsor for a game? Okay. Throw it on there. Like, he probably didn't even look at it. Like, 
And they were like, 30 grand? Oh, sure, why not? 15 seconds, okay. And then he got hated on Twitter. He didn't even read. He probably didn't even, he probably don't even run his Twitter account, which is good. He can me just go outside, enjoy the day, go to the park, just look around at nature, look at animals not giving a crap about anything, and then look around at everybody else and think, why does it matter that people online hate me? They don't even know what you really look like. Yeah, you have that privilege of anonymity. An -an 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 you know what I'm trying to say. Nobody knows what you look like. And if some people do, okay, all right, whatever. They're not going to fucking find you. You're, you're fine. And if they do find you, that's when you get security or get the police involved. But you're fine. Just come back months later. Fan base will still be waiting for you. More screen caps of picking me down over the harassment she's received from Hogwarts Legacy and J.K. Rowling haters. Oh yeah, we just want to protect people from harm. The people we target are fascists. Maybe they should not have been so hateful. I saw poor Pikmin and others getting attacked for simply wanting to stream the game. Attacking innocent people isn't going to help your cause. If anything, it's going to make people go against it. Facts. 100%. Shy Guy was more right 100%. than they ever knew, but they probably wrote him off as another, like, VTuber fan. Nice I want to say thank you to my papa me as well. He lives in an estate, so he's pretty far away right now because I live in Japan. He called me a lot of times to support me and show his love, make sure I'm doing okay and stuff like that. So I want to say That's thank dope. you to papa me for supporting me a lot too. Also, he's coming to Japan and um, he's staying longer to spend time with me, so I'm very oh, excited about it. Yeah, I need go. to tell him every day to bring Reese's because in Japan there is no Reese's. Really? Looking a little deeper into picking. What? It's clear she seems to be That's a terrible. very sweet human being. Like a genuinely good Everybody person. Everybody send this girl some Reese's. She's also half Japanese. Reese's which they call hafu in Japan. Oh yeah. And it isn't all sunshine and rain. It's fucking not, dude. Like Japan is one of those places if if you're not like them, you will never be one of them. That means if you are Korean, Korean looks similar to Japanese. If you go over there, you learn Japanese, you live there for years, you marry a Japanese husband, and you have a half Japanese, half Korean kid, in the company's eyes, you will never be Japanese. Ever. Period. Point blank. Promotion? No. You're not Japanese. If you want to get a discount for something big like an apartment or a vehicle or a loan or something, you are not Japanese. It is not happening. Point blank. Period. Rainbows. It's That's most one of them places. Tended. It's the same, same like that here in Thailand. Like Thailand, it's like, oh, you're not Thai. Ah, uh, well, you know, you know you, you're probably not going to get the race. Japan is. It is Being it half is. Japanese it has happens. a list not, of problems. Not every country is like the United States or like Europe, where there's so many people that it's like, mm, okay, sure, you got the credentials, sure, why not? And like, yeah, you can say, oh, he's white, so he's going to get the promotion. But that's not necessarily always the case here in Japan or Thailand or in Japan. That is the case. You are not Japanese, you're not getting a job. You are not Thai, you're not getting a promotion. Problems and issues, especially in the school system. The level what are you of bullying do about and it? harassment Everybody there is Japanese. she probably experienced is yeah. crazy. Yeah. Pikmi decided to market herself to Western audiences, seeking more acceptance. Smart. The acceptance she didn't find in her own home country to Dang. only be completely and utterly trashed by a Western audience on Twitter that over don't even a know stupid her. game. That don't even know I can her. relate to her on some levels. Being mixed race at times, growing mixed up race? can be very isolating. And I can only assume growing mm. up in Japan, being hafu, is probably like KO Can times four levels of hard. <laughs> From <laughs> Bro said KO Can times four. Well, I was black going to majority white schools and going to majority Mexican schools. And you know what's crazy? I was the odd one out, but it felt good because people wanted to know who I was as a person and wanted to get to know me because I was their first experience as a black person. As a child, I don't really I didn't really understand that. So I was just being myself and they just liked who I was. When I moved to a majority black school, it's like I just was uh, in the shadows. I didn't exist. I was just another black guy, you know. So, um, you know, even though. It might be hell um, being mixed or being a different ethnicity somewhere. It's only because the people there just either they have a, president, a prejudice or they're ignorant. If they don't know and they're accepting, it's not going to be all that bad. And it could 
possibly be a good thing. Not in Japan. I mean, obviously, not in Japan. They got a fucking whole slang word for being mixed race, right? So obviously not there. But like in the Western world, it's totally different. Well, a lot of shit is different from the West and the East. From what I learned over the years. I am definitely getting more attention from outside Japan. When I walk down the street here, no Japanese people recognize me. But lots of foreign tourists stop and say, congratulations. In fact, the reaction of some Japanese on social media has been downright hostile. Is it okay to select a hafu to represent Japan? Yeah, that's one. normal. Of course. It makes me uncomfortable to say she represents Japan, another. I mean, this is just explaining how, um, how bad it could be being half, um, half black or half white and half Japanese or whatever. But yeah, let's move on. We're, I just want to know about what happened in Pikami. I don't need any explanation. He was leaving her contract. And all hell oh, she had broke a contract? Loose. Holy shit. Twitter activists now got a taste of their own medicine. Whoever harassed picking me about the stupid wizard game drama, fuck <laughs> you're not an LGBT ally. You're Facts. a bully. Facts. I'm trans, yet you don't see me bitching about a video game. If you hide your harassment behind the LGBTQ flag, you aren't actually an ally. Admit you're a bully. Oh, you I gotta poor see little the VTuber. You went against the narrative. I gotta see God the help you. None of this hate is what picking me would ever want it. Oh, now you Cretans care about her feelings. Where was all this concern for how she felt when she wanted to play the game? Piss off. They made Pika me retire. I'm declaring a total war as I promised. No, oh, no, hey, that's yo, just a clip. Chill, <laughs> Some Reddit people getting mad at me talking about Hogwarts. Today I have had to <laughs> put in 27 reports of transphobia bigotry against me. People literally telling Jesus me Christ. I should detransition and I should Jesus Christ. myself. Harassing me doesn't fix Hogwarts, it and it won't make picking me change her mind about graduating. They, they turn crazy, on their own like bro. piranha. They, they of course, you, if you're not part of the pack, oh, you're getting eaten up. Who picking me resigns after being harassed by leftists in the West for playing Hogwarts Legacy. So what is she? I can do assure now? you, this alone has turned fans, many whom were apolitical, off the supporting of the trans movement because 100%. many of its activists destroyed 100%. their favorite VTube. And activists, they're not even real trans activists, bro. If they were really trans activists, whenever a trans person gets killed, you know, I, I guess I, I can guarantee you they wouldn't be out there with a fucking sign saying, oh, this is bad or something like that. They'd just be online. Be and they probably wouldn't even notice because they're too busy worried about a damn video game. Harassment. Worst is, they're trying to make it about themselves. Pikami is graduating. Being a trans VTuber is about to get a lot worse for the transphobes who will blame trans people for this. These are just four random examples I found, and it's already begun. Be safe. It's about to get a lot worse. Umfi attracting weirdos today? I thought picking me was like on our side. I was really detached from most of this drama. She is. It's a bunch of people who think their Ushi is a bigot. Like them? Nobody ever thought picking me was a bigot. <laughs> no, oh, I get it. Her fans are bigots. Okay. But they called her a bigot. That's what started all of this. Oh my god. I can't even rationalize it anymore. I don't know what a is. Pygmy's graduating. People assume it's because of her planning to play Hogwarts Legacy. Transphobes say she was bullied off the platform and now blame trans people for her graduating. What do you mean by blame? What? They did bully her. And now you call it blame? I rest my case. Pipkin what? Pippa made a Ooh. tweet that I found pretty funny after all of this drama unfolded. It seems that Pippa doesn't care, and I like that about her. That's good. Today's stream, I hate this franchise, but I hate people on Twitter even more. <laughs> say something so controversial <laughs> and so brave. She even did a funny little skit at the beginning of her stream that really rubbed people the wrong way. You know, I love this girl. He's like, oh, I don't like Hogwarts. I don't like Twitter, so I'm gonna play Hogwarts. I've got an invitation to face in the stairs from Warner Brothers. Uh oh. It's, a, it's an invitation to stop uh -oh. from Warner Brothers. Uh oh. What? What's this? It's signed at the bottom. Go <laughs>
comedy. And of course, you guessed it. Pippa is now alt right and a racist. Uh, um, Pippa, who I think is like a Nazi. I saw a couple of clips of this person. I assume they're attention baiting, so don't want to give them too much of that. But like, like basically, there there was there was a clip of like somebody said New World Order, and a bunch of people in her chat were screaming like Oy vey, Oy vey. It's all like Nazi. Sh it's like um. Wait, what? New World Order? That has to be like that. New World Order is like the Illuminati. Oy vey, that's a Jewish term. Wait, well, I, don't, I don't get the Nazi. I don't get the Nazi shit. But okay, I guess, I guess. Oy vey. <laughs> All right. The chat's screaming, oi vey, oi vey. <laughs> totally problematic. You can't take Vox Oh, my seriously. goodness. All right. Oh, oh, my God. People in chat, they were having fun. <laughs> Unrestricted fun. No! Pinky Me has been really friendly with Kawi forms and called them Kiwi Bros. Her community is filled with alt-right. I wish I could say I'm surprised that she sides with Nazis. Uh, source. Making a thread going through the evidence later. Source. My source is that I jump to conclusions. Trust me, bro. That's not picking me. Trust me, bro. The alt-right genocide denial racism slurs cowie farm transphobes for over a year. I've witnessed VTubers dog whistle to extremists. Nobody has bad in an eye. It's time that changes. They try to get kerfuffles in. To, to cancel little Pippa. Okay, this is a VTuber who got called out for being a Nazi. Not picking me. Both happened recently, so I used the two. So you don't know, yet you're reporting some bullshit. Congratulations, cat girl Sophie. You're part of the problem. Wouldn't it be... Congratulations. I don't know, advantageous to make sure you accuse You know the who right the fuck you're accusing? The crime of thought. No, nah, why do that? Done? It's too hard. You are literally... You see? They said so. I, they're confused. It's too hard. They don't you're understand. Supporting Mur of my trans friends. What the f Twitter activists were doing victory laps. The closest thing they've come to exercise in years. Yeah, I'm about to say victory laps. They don't even get off the phone. What? Then 4chan entered the ring and hunted Shout all these Chan. people down that harassed Pikmin and Shout other VTubers. Of course, many Twitter freaks I'm began backtracking bullying, and deleting old tweets. They trying fight. to scrub their toxic campaign Imagine. timeline and accusing poor pick of me of being a monster. Lunar Archive has highlighted one that I found pretty funny. Most TERFs pretending to be trans people. Well, being a trans VTuber is about to get a turf. lot more terrifying. Stay God, safe, y'all. What happened? Some people, mostly TERFs, pretending to be trans people, but still some morally Quack. trans people too mixed in. Took, what, please turf, don't bro? play the wizard game and made it into harassment and doxing of her and other people in that statement when the rest of us just wanted to be peaceful. And then you check an older tweet from this person. Been seeing a lot of discussions around this because it's nearly out. I'll say it plain. If you buy Hogwarts Legacy, you are scum to me. You're directly there supporting nobody. someone who will use that money to hurt people like me. If there you stream nobody. Hogwarts Legacy, you're dead to me. I will nobody. personally avoid slash block you. And nobody. you will most likely never work with or have a nice interaction with a trans creator ever again. Our you're trust is you're gone. A no, you're a nobody. There are plenty of trans creators that probably don't care about this whatsoever. You are the minority. You are a nobody. You are hide behind the internet. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Uh, 23 people care, I guess. 62 people care. 4,000 people saw this and 62 people cared. Congratulations. So if you're a VTuber creator and you put silly wizard game above your trans friends, <laughs> you go away. Dandy's thread oh. links to the tweet explaining why. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? That seemed very lovely, friendly, and insightful didn't it remember when i talked about briefly like 10 minutes ago how people were trying to say pick me was a, a pedo and she was exposed well here's the person who well, came up with an amber orb, i believe oh where's crap i lost the tweets crap long you story short uh, i guess amber had some questionable things on their timeline and got exposed so they immediately deleted all of their socials and link trees i got nothing for it what's the moral of the story 
Bro. Pick a me, your bad. Shut up. Nah, the moral of the story is don't throw a fucking rock if you have a glass house. Battles, really. All of this, once again, was unnecessary. Really, it's just a game. Every day, everyone deals with something they don't like. Gamers you have to learn to separate 100%. your biases from just everyday life. Arrested Development's one of my favorite television shows. The guy who played the lead character, to Michael Bluth, has had some stupid internet takes. So what? I don't have to follow him to still enjoy Arrested Development. That's true. Do you, baby? You got one life. Live it. Enjoy it. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. So I'm going I'm to end this with saying Pikmi honestly did not um, deserve the hate, but it's the internet. She was going to get hated regardless. It, it's Pikmi today. It could have been somebody else yesterday. It could be somebody else tomorrow. It could have been someone else that day. You see what I'm saying? Pikmi just so happened to be the target. Uh, in her case, honestly, she should not even really take their criticisms to heart. They're, they hide behind the screen. They don't know who you are. And they're going to say negative things about you regardless. Today, today it was about Hogwarts. If you didn't play Hogwarts three years from now, it could, be, it could have been freaking Need for Speed about how there's a car in the game and somebody got ran over and they were uh, activists. You know what I'm saying? And that car is in the game and now everybody hates you because you're playing Need for Speed. Don't do not care about what these people have to say. If these people really do give you that big of a problem, use the block button. I use that shit all the time. Use the block button or don't get on Twitter. If you, you know, Twitter is part of your business so I can understand you having to get on Twitter. But like I said, you got the block button, you got the report button, and you have a fan base. You have people behind, literally behind you, right? Literally will say great things about you. And I understand. Look, I get great comments too. Like, oh, I love your reaction, this and that. And then it's that one comment, that one bad comment that upsets me. And it doesn't even really upset me. It's just like, bro, you're so fucking annoying. And what I do, block. I use it from channel. That's, that's all you can do. And that's all you really need to do. You'll remember it for like maybe the first two, three hours of the day. And then after that, you forget about it. There's other shit that's going to piss you off. Don't even stress about it. Literally go outside, you know, chill, relax, you know, go eat at your favorite restaurant, invite your real friends out, go do something, go enjoy the day, go to the arcade. It's Japan. They got arcades still. They ain't got arcades anywhere else but Japan, apparently. So don't even sweat, man. It's not that big of a deal. If you do come back, Pika Me, welcome back. If you don't come back, I totally 100% understand. If you rebrand to somebody else and build up again, I totally understand that as well. For the Pika Me fans, I mean, you guys did your thing. You, you stood your ground. Really, the only thing you can do is report the people that are saying hateful stuff. Or if they're being infactual, correct them. Put them in their place. If that's what you want to do. Me personally, I ain't got time for that shit. I just hit the block and I move on. But if that, if you got time to argue with somebody else online, go ahead and argue online, bro. But at the end of the day, even if you argued with them, you showed them the facts, even if you point out their bigotry, they are not going to care. They are not going to switch sides. You know what they're going to do? They're probably either going to block you, they're going to delete their account, or they're going to mute some shit, and then go on and make a different account. These people are not happy in life, okay? If they're not happy in life, they're not going to just agree and be on your side. They're brainwashed. They literally are. They are brainwashed. They are brainwashed to think that JKR gives a fuck about people buying or not buying Hogwarts Legacy. They don't really care about taking her out. They're just using this as a way to bully people online because that's all they have in their life. Their life sucks. Their life completely, absolutely sucks. You had Pikami, somebody that actually made you happy. And Pikami making you happy makes them unhappy. They're losers, okay? Don't listen to them. They're just going to try and upset you. Their opinions do not matter. Pikami is who you cared about. You should support her. Even though she's gone now, she might come back. You never know. Until then, I don't know, do something else. Find somebody. Hang out with the rabbit, the other rabbit girl. She seemed like she's kind of cool. And otherwise, just be safe, man. Just be safe. The internet's crazy. The internet's wild. Mostly Twitter, though. So just go somewhere else. You'll be cool. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace!